Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation is uh, going to be on the controversy surrounding the screening and nomination of uh, Loretta Onoche as uh, INEC Commissioner for Delta State. This morning, we're going to be speaking first with uh, Mr. Ibrahim Oshinowo, uh, who's a risk management expert. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen and my beautiful sister there. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to start with your reaction, but I want to share something from uh, former Senator Shehu Sani. Um, he uh, sent out a message saying, Loretta is outrightly undeserving of being a commissioner in INEC. Her presence in the electoral body will undoubtedly question its credibility and independence. Her denial before the screening committee is baseless. She's a partisan agent of the ruling party, period. Um, do you agree with him? And uh, what are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. That's from Senator Shio Sonny, right? Yes, it is. Anyway, I'll first of all, uh, uh, good morning to Nigerians um, and everybody in the studio. Um, first, um, we are in a democracy where the 1999 Constitution as amended guarantees everybody's participation in one um, 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 duty, national duty or the other. Uh, don't forget that Senator Sonny was actually a civil rights activist. He has never been a politician. And in some of his quotes in early 1998, 1999, besides 2000, let me use 2000, at the, advent, at, the, at the startup of this democracy, the Fourth Republic, he said he would never have participated in any political arena. But unfortunately for him, he hijacked the senatorial ticket of Cardinal Central. He was elected senator. And today is an activist in, activist, activist in politics. And in fact, of course, he is now a full politician. Now, coming back to Loretta Onoche, the constitution is very clear. I might be in a political party today, and tomorrow I might decide that I'm not in, I'm not going to participate in any political arrangement. It does not stop Mr. President of appointing me as an official of INEC as long as I can openly renounce my political participation in any political party. The Constitution sh said shall not be in any political arrangement. That's not the precise word, but shall is there. But Loretta has said that she has not, she has stopped being political act or actively in politics since 2019. And that's almost three years ago. So if people, you know, who does not, uh, you know, um, 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 enjoy or her face is intimidating a lot of them, comes out and bring um, 2007, 2011 picture or 2019 picture, uh, 2017, 16 picture, to damage our reputation. And I think um, the honor lies on Mr. President to follow what the law says. And I'm optimistic, I'm very, very sure that Mr. President must have, have checked through the Constitution and Loretta must have met all the circumstances and the prescriptions of the Constitution before she was nominated. Okay, Mr. Secondly, okay. Loretta is not the only one that has partially, partially participated in political arrangements. In INEC presently, and I can mention names, including the former chairman of INEC. So what are we talking about? Okay. Mr. Ibrahim. Our integrity is in doubt. Mr. Has Ibrahim. he been found wanting in any capacity? Has he been tried in any criminal offenses? Mr. I'm Ibrahim, not sure that you, is right. So I, 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 want us, I don't want us to go into sentiment of some people okay. are saying. Okay. Mr. Ibrahim, give us a minute. Um, first of all, I want to uh, quote a section of the Constitution here um, about who should be, uh, you know, a member of INEC or not. Now, this is according to paragraph 14 of part one of the third schedule to the constitution as amended by section 30, act number one of 2010. It says that a member of INEC shall be non-partisan. Now that we have that fact on the ground, um, talking about Loretta Onochi and her political involvement, 
You said, like um, Loretta denied three times during her screening yesterday that she's not a member of any political party. But we have facts of Onoche um, actually being involved in politics. Even though you have said it's partial, um, there's a tweet we have from 2014, June 24, um, June 24, 2020. This was last year when Loretta <laughs> Onoche went on to say that, um, you know, informing Nigerians of an INEC meeting um, the next day, June 25th, um, Loretta Onoche went on to say, we, and by we, she was talking about the APC. She said, we are going through a growth process. And she put up a picture of the logo of APC. I don't know how you describe that as partial um, you know, involvement in politics, but it's involvement anyway. If Onoche claims to have you know, left the APC in 2019, and was seeing you know, her affiliation to the APC a year later in 2020, don't you think that really casts doubt on her you know, stance that she's no longer an APC member, and in fact casts doubt on her non-partisan claim? Can you give me one evidence in 2020 that Loretta has actively participated in any political arrangement? Can you bring one of two evidences out from I APC? Just, I just gave you one. You are putting, the fact you are that putting 2014. 2020. Mr. Ibrahim, this is a message Sorry? she put out. She put this message out last year in the heat of the COVID-19 pandemic. It was last year, 2020. And, and what, what was the content of the message? She you know was what? informing Nigerians of an I, I respect media a lot. I, I respect media a lot. I was on interview on the, the program yesterday, and I was telling them that, look, we have to stop being sensational in this country, especially... I love media, especially media needs to be, you know, we have been clamoring for invest, um, investigative journalism so that journalists can have facts and figure when you want to prosecute somebody or you want to, you know, go by the, by the trend of, you know, sentiment by the populace. Now, if you are saying Loretta had the right to make comment on any political party, either APC, PDP, we've seen a sitting INEC member still serving since PDP days, making comments on political issues. It doesn't mean he or she is a member of the political party. Why don't you allow APC to say, okay, Loretta Noche is our member? Well, if, if she says, if she says, why don't you allow PDP to say Loretta Noche is our member? Um, Mr. Oshino, so these are the facts. I wonder, you know, I was discussing with Kemi Adosho has been my colleague before in the state government. We were, we were colleagues, we started the government in the state in 2011 together. And this is the same sentiment people and media are putting out to Nigerians that she has done this, she has done this, she has done this, she has done this, she has Mr. done this. Mr. Oshinawa, but can at you the end on? of the day, can you hold find on? out that when, when you, Kemi does when you not even need. Mr. Oshinawa, Mr. Oshinawa, kindly hold on. Mr. Oshinawa, can you hold on, please? When you say sentiments by the media, we're simply sharing with you things that Loretta Onoche herself put out. There's no sentiment. It is messages Hi. that she put out on Twitter by herself. She posted these things on Twitter by herself. There is a court judgment from 2021 where she swore an oath saying that she is a member of the APC and a member of the Buhari Support Organization. That's not from the media. We haven't done anything here. We are simply sharing with you what she herself has said and tweeted and posted by herself. So where, which sentiments are you referring to? And we're simply asking you, doesn't that show partisanship? If you can still hear us. So we, a, lot well, people, a lot of people can post anything on the internet now. A lot of people can change your face. Even the opposition can change your face. Wow. Also, I put another person's face and say this is what you are saying. Okay, uh, let's I'm, let's introduce I'm, the PDP uh, publicity secretary, uh, Mr. Kola Lugudio. Uh, good morning, Mr. Lugudio. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Good morning and good morning, Nigeria. All right. So we're speaking about Loretta Onoche and her um, denial of APC membership. Um, Mr. Shino um, mentioned just a few seconds ago that maybe the court judgment was forged. Um, where, where the PDP we've seen your response? No, I, I, I didn't say that. Please. <laughs> okay, well, could you could you then clarify what you mean when you say any, anybody can post anything and that people's faces? I'm referring to the tweet you are mentioning. I'm referring to the tweet you are mentioning. Oh, well. Color here is my very good brother. Color is the one that was shouting or saying that Kemi has forged, Kemi has forged, Kemi has forged. Kola has never come, done, come back to the public and say, 
I apologize to Kelly Adeosu for laying a forceful allegation against her. But the, 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 well, now, the conversation this the morning... We have a court ruling on that. The conversation is not about uh, Kemi and not, the Ocean. And not. there's but still... If I may, if I may come in... All right, go, not, go ahead. I don't need to apologize because the court, the, because the court decision did not bother on fortune. So, you must get it clear and rightly too. The court ruled, in case you are not aware, like like like, like, like the ABC will always say, the court ruled that... She did not need to do good service. The court did not say PDP forged anything. I have put that aside. Coming to the issue of Loretta Onoche is an absurdity as a Nigerian for you to stand anywhere and defend Loretta Onoche. And I'm very disappointed in that. Because Loretta by herself, not you, not the ABC, <laughs> not the Buhari presidents, Loretta by herself, went to court and swore to Agnafi Dabi on oath. And that in itself, as you know, is a perjury. And the matter is still in court as we are speaking. And Loretta Anoche did not go to court to withdraw the matter. Loretta Anoche did not write to the court to say that her claim by herself, her claim by herself that she was a member of APC, she was withdrawing it or she regretted it. She did not opt to do up to yesterday when he appeared before the Senate. Loretta Anoche has no way shown Nigerians a resignation letter. And Mr. Oshino, are you aware that Loretta said that since 2019, she had not got involved in anything political, anything partisan? But the oath that she swore before the court was done in 2020. Are you aware? So I do not think that we should, we should, we should, we should get too involved or too passionate about this matter. It is clear before every Nigerian, that Loretta is an APC member. Loretta laid the claim by herself. She was cross-examined in court. She attested that she's an APC member. On the aspiration to be appointed into INA, she denied her own life. What are you coming out to the public to defend? Mr. Logodio, I want us to um, you know, make the facts clear for people who do not understand to get a grasp of the subject matter here. Because the bone of contention really is about Ono Che being a member of the APC or any other political party. So the question I have for you, Mr. Olobudinho, is what impact does her political leaning or what impact would her political leaning have on any election that she presides over as a national commissioner? It would be a polluted election. It would be an election in the favor of APC. Whether APC won the election or not, to go is to go and make declarations on the side of APC. And like I have consistently asked, how can you say that? Listen oh, now, is it, how can a partisan person be an umpire? It's simple, it's common knowledge, it's wisdom. Is it possible that a partisan person will go and, 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 and preside over an issue in which a party is involved? And we have the right sense of judgment. It's simple. It's logic. It's simple. It's wisdom. It's not possible. So what the people's Democratic Party and Nigerians are saying is that President Muhammadu Buhari should search for a Nigerian who does not hold membership of any political party as prescribed in the 1999 Constitution as amended and appoint such a person. And what we are saying, and what Nigerians are also saying, is that the Senate should not confirm a partisan Nigerian who holds membership of a political party as an arbiter or a commissioner in INEC. Because INEC, we are told, is called Independent National Electoral Commission. A member of APC has to be an independent-minded person. Okay, let's and bring in a Mr. Former Mr. Member, a former member, Mr. a Mr. former Mr. member of APC, Mr. 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 Kola, a former Mr. member of APC. A former member, until she appeared, until she appeared. Okay. Mr. Mr. Lobodio. It, it, it's not in your place. It's not, excuse me, Mr. Kola. Mr. Lobodio, you know, please hold on for a minute. so much. You are my dear brother. Mr. Lobodio, please hold on for a minute. Um, I want to throw, um, throw it back to you, Mr. Oshinowo. So you're basically saying that all these allegations made against Loretta Onoche, that she's a member of the APC, all these allegations made against her are based on sentiment. I want you to explain, how do you mean that they're based on sentiment? And also, are you saying that Nigerians can trust an election 
that Loretta Onoche is involved in. Please go ahead, Mr. Ayashino. Please, let me clarify what my dear brother here would like to say. First, I tell you the PDP under Uche Secondus hold Kemi Adiosun a great national apology. You and Premier's time, you need to apologize immensely for defaming our character. Of course, it's left to delay to sue PDP and Premier's time for forgery that we have alleged because the court has never found Kemi being forged of any document. I could remember I was on I was on national TV that Kola personally alleged in a which is second giving press conference for to have for chemist service resignation. Well, Mr. Mr. Oshin, the, the, co the conversation this morning has, has nothing to do with Kemi Adeoshu. Not a lying party. Mr. Ashinawa, Mr. 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 The, the conversation this morning has nothing to do with... Can you allow me to go back? You allow me to talk now? Can you allow me to talk? Yes, we just want you to go back to Laura Town or Chip. Let me make clarification. You do obstruct color now. Let me, make my, let me make my own case too. It's not in PDP's place. It's not in color. Oh, we're struggling to get uh, sound from uh, Ibrahim Oshinawa this morning. The conversation is on... Uh, Loretta Onoche's uh, nomination and, of course, screening as an INEC commissioner uh, for Delta State. And um, Ibrahim Oshinawa says um, it really shouldn't be a problem, and this is all based on sentiments. Uh, the PDP Kola uh, Woody, um, you know, of course, says uh, otherwise. Uh, we hope that we can quickly react, um, reconnect with both of them and get the conversation going. But, Mr. Uh, Lokojia, do we still have you there? Okay, seems we, we, we have we unfortunately lost both our guests. We'll try to reconnect with them. But this, is, this issue is very important because we're talking about 2023. We heard from the British government putting out warnings about the risk of the elections and you know just everything involved in the electoral process. Um, right. Mr. Lokbojiya, um, do we, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, Mr. Like Oshinawa, can you hear us? Yes, I'm okay, here. Please, please go ahead. Yes, I can hear you. Please, I will crave your indulgence to allow me to explain when it comes to my search. Please. Now, it's not in PDP's place or Colour's place, based on their previous unfounded allegation against the APC member to say Loretta is the APC member into what APC is doing. APC should call out and say court cases. PDP can approach the court to say. This, that, 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 that. You refer to section 14 of the Constitution as amended, 1999 Constitution as amended. The Constitution says it does not emphasize that that person must be a former member or a president member. The director can be a member of PDP the same way Amina Zakari has been a member of PDP. And she resigned and she was nominated. Today, Amino Sakar is still serving as a high ranking member of a former PDP member. is saying the Loretta with Nigerians cannot choose. going to be one of many qualified Nigerians, and she's qualified to be on that seat. She's going to be just one among many who are coming from other regions. Why don't Kola and Uche Sekondus ask Amino Sakar to resign? Jeda was part of June 12. I was there. Jeda was actively participating in SDP. He was appointed into INE. All right. Um, it's, it's a struggle getting to hear from my So, uh, what is uh, my dear quality? I'm losing a lot of credible INE officials. Hello? Yes, go ahead. We're struggling with your network. Go ahead. Hello? So, I can assure you, call us to focus on why Ahmed uh, Amino Sakare is still in INET today. Let's the fact that she's a former member of the PDP. All right, Mr. Logo, do you know? Even, even Jega, Jega is now participating in politics. He, Jega was actively involved in June 12, in June 12 movement. He was partisan and he was appointed. So, Loretta is not the chairman of INET, for God's sake. Loretta will be one of many. What Nigeria needs to do that, is she going to be a, 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 a trustworthy, a decent yes, Nigerian that will do, do, do you think she will? 
She will hundred percent. She's not a member. That's why I say Kola cannot determine. Let the PC say Loretta is our member, or is Loretta a PDP member? I mean, not she's a PDP member, and it was appointed by President Jonathan. Despite all the noise and and and, and national cry about Amino Sakari. All right. She Mr. was appointed into the commission and still she's still there till today. Mr. Um, Kola Olubodion, quickly respond. Um... Honestly, honestly, I just don't know what to say about his claims. Because his claim, in, in one breath, he said that um, um, a PDP opposed Amina Zakari. In another breath, he said uh, a PDP, uh, Amina Zakari was a member of PDP. And yet he said PDP. So I truly don't know what to make of his argument. <laughs> but our position in the People's Democratic Party is very clear and unambiguous. And it's also reverberate with Nigerians' position, which is that a card-carrying member of any political party, including the People's Democratic Party, cannot be appointed as an arbiter in IMF. And in the public space, Nigerians are aware that Loretta Onoche is number two in World Four of a new Chanukah government in Delta State on the register. Nigerians are aware that more recently, <laughs> if not, if not, if not most recently, that Loretta Onoche went to a high court in Abuja here, swore to an evidence speech on oath that he is a, mem a member of the All Progressive Congress and also a volunteer supporter for Buhari Media Organization. Having said that, she went back to the court to affirm a statement on oath that she's a member of the All Progressive Congress. Only just because she had been nominated to go to INEC, she denied APC three times before the committee. Mr. Mr. Prior to, <clears throat> to, to her appearance in the before the committee, we have no history, Nigerians have no history of Loretta saying that she's not a member of APC. So I do not believe, and my party does not believe, and Nigerians also do not believe that a duplicious character should be appointed into INEC as a commissioner. Okay. And that's Mr. Alekbodio, I need to ask you, because this whole issue began when the president nominated Loretta Onoche as INE commissioner in October 2020. So would you say that the root cause and you know where this should have ended is that the president in the first place should not have nominated Loretta Onoche, number one, and also um, how does this issue end? You know, beyond asking the Senate to not confirm her as any commissioner, um, would you also say or pressure the presidency to withdraw his nomination, you know, of Loretta Onoche? The People's Democratic Party and Nigerians have also put this issue before Mr. President and even before the President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawa, that look, can they return this nomination? And you, we must also recall that the nomination of Loretta Onoche first came to the Senate some eight months ago. And there was an uproar by Nigerians, not just the People's Democratic Party, that, no, Mr. President, you cannot do this to our democracy. Don't kill our democracy. Don't bring a card carrying member of your party to INEC as an arbiter, as a commissioner. And the Senate, in her wisdom, withdrew that nomination and kept it. Eight months after, perhaps, in their own thinking, the top Nigerians had forgotten. They brought back this same nomination. And the opera has continued. It's not about PDP. It's about Nigerians. It's about our electoral process. It's about making Mr. President uh, 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 committed to his uh, 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 position that he will ensure a free, fair, credible, and transparent election from our off-season elections to the 2023 elections. And, and, and we are saying that Nigerians are just simply saying, Mr. President, honor know your own words. Don't begin to, 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 to pollute the process of our electioneering by bringing somebody who is a card carrying member of your party to the commission that will supervise the election. Mm -hmm. The matter is straightforward. It is simple. There are millions of Nigerians out there that Mr. President can nominate who are very apolitical, who nobody will be able to stand and challenge. However, my brother Oshino is saying that a woman who went to court to go and swear on oath that is a member of a political party who was called for cross-examination in the same court 
and she reaffirmed her membership. Just in 2020, the same woman will go before the uh, will go before the parliament, before the committee on INE, and make a declaration that since 2019, she has never belonged to any party, she has never participated in any political meetings or any association. We are asked by her own hands and in her own signature in 2020. So these are two points. Okay. Oh, Mr. Shino, uh, the two of the matter, the matter is that the reputation of the nomination of honor chair is questionable. Mr. And we do not need the character, any character that is questionable in the INF. Yeah. Mr. Shino, quickly, um, we're, we're almost out of time, but I want you to quickly respond to the uh, facts and the signed document, the signed court documents that show that she um, has, of course, agreed that she's an APC member and a member of the Buhari support organization just, you know, a couple of months ago in 2020. Um, do you think that is relevant in this conversation? And isn't that enough to show that she is actually a member of the APC and partisan? Um, and also, why can't the president nominate somebody else, seeing the uproar that this has caused? Of all, it's not in the um, PDP's place to determine who is an APC member. We should stop focusing into what APC is doing. Let me make my point very clear to the PDP spokesperson. You have enough of issues in your party to okay. monitor than looking at what Mr. President is so trying what, to does make the court documents choice. signed by Loretta on her chair. I'm coming to that. You didn't allow me to make my case. Yeah, but I, 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 we're, we're out of time. I want you I to go straight to it. I'll address what Kola has said. Look, All right. Oh, well, it seems um, we may have lost uh, Ibrahim Oshinawa <laughs> again and, of course, uh, Kola Olubodion. Uh, both... Uh, Oh, Mr. Kola, are you okay? Well, I think we still have Mr. Olubodion. If you're he there, can you... Uh... Mr. Shino was back. ...the next of the Federal Republic to do that as they get. Let her be the issue of job. After that, we will see what is going on and what is not. That is what I'm saying to my dear brother. We should allow the Senate to work. The sentiment and the water. Marita, they believe that is coming to INEC to do one thing or the other. But I can assure you, he's not doing anything for APC. If the 2023 election were to be called today, APC will win last line, especially in the PDP stronghold. So I will encourage PDP to focus more on the governance issue. They should make cases for governance issues. Loretta is just a dot in the circle. Loretta is not a threat to PDP. PDP has a lot of issues to do. Mr. Shinoa, last... Loretta has gone to court. Please, let me finish. We're running out of time. We apologize, Mr. Shinoa. Mr. Oshinowo, um, you know, we've, we've had lots of deflections that you know taken a lot, a lot of our time, but I want us to go directly into this, this last question, Mr. Oshinowo. Why so much insistence on Loretta Onoche? Are there no other persons who can fill that role? Thank you for Mr. President. My dear brother, Mr. Kola, you know, that is the prerogative of the president. If the president chooses to appoint Kola Logodio as a minister, and today he will be appointing. It's not a big deal. That is his prerogative. He can appoint Kola Logodio as a minister of information. That is, despite the fact that it's in PDP, that's the constitution. It's the prerogative of the president. It's not prerogative of Oshinawa. It's not prerogative of Kola. No, Nobody asking, can force anything on his throat. What I'm asking, Mr. Oshinawa, is... He has been elected, duly elected by Ms. Nigeria. Mr. Oshinawa, I'm not asking about the president's nomination. I'm asking about, you know, people like you who are solidly behind Loretta Onoche, you know, being confirmed as any commissioner. Mm -hmm. Why the insistence on her? Because I think Mr. President believes that she has the characteristics. All these allegations are mere or partisan. There are no criminal record. If Mr. Kola can give me one criminal record against Loretta Onoche. I actually have one that I'm looking at. He has no criminal record. She has been actively, you know, diligent in those educational programs she has managed. All right, Mr. So, my dear brother, you will have to look at the issue. Mr. Oshinawa, I'm asking you a question. Yes, please. 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 You know. Kola Olobudion, thank you so much for your time this morning. I enjoyed the conversation with you both. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you both again. We wish you a great weekend. Thanks for speaking. Thank you. Have a great day.
Thank you very much. You right. You're welcome. Okay, so right. yes, that was definitely the PDP um, National Publicity Secretary, Secretary yeah. and uh, Mr. Oshno Ibrahim there. I, I really can't wait to see the end of this matter. Would the president, because everything seems to have two options to end. Either the president withdraws the nomination of Noita Onochi or the Senate fails to confirm her. But that's right. it for today. That's where we wrap up the conversation. Thank you very much for joining us. I am Osaogi Ogbawan. And I'm Aneta Felix, asking you to have a great weekend.